hey guys i hope all of you are having a great day uh before we start the video let me clarify this is not a clickbait video uh whatever answers i'm going to give you today most of them are backed by uh, references from journals all right so uh, the the reason behind making this video is well the channel's name is gate chemistry and you know if the gate examination happens and i don't put out a solution key uh, it it does not do justice to the name of the channel all right and uh, <clears throat> some of the questions might be a little bit here and there because i did not give the examination right and also i would like to apologize for this poor uh, quality of the video uh, my videos have been consistently having a poor productivity or poor production quality all right so uh, just ignore this so let's quick i'll not give you the solutions the detailed solutions let's just quickly move to the questions and specifically i have taken those questions where there is a lot of ambiguity as to what could be the answer so this was one question right um, how do we solve this question uh, is something or there were a lot of doubts related to this particular question so in this question actually uh, if you see let me just uh, use the other marker uh, this is a, a cyclo addition based question okay so zinc chloride was given i think so what will happen when so, so this zinc chloride will basically attach to this oxygen and uh this will attach to the oxygen and this group basically will eliminate right it will coordinate to coordinate to the zinc the oxygen and this group will eliminate and will generate a carbocation and this carbocation will be stabilized and uh, <clears throat> actually over here the betas uh, okay let me just go to the next slide and show you over here the concept of the beta silyl uh, cation is basically utilized so you can see over here this is the uh, reference article uh, this was published in 1982 so over here we instead of oh uh, like we will have oac right we are adding zinc so basically it will generate a carbocation that will eliminate and over, over here we will get a carbocation right and you can see over here uh, then when you are adding your cyclopentadiene okay over here z is equal to ch2 you are adding cyclopentadiene it will generate this kind of a system over here r is equal to hydrogen okay so you can ignore this r group so basically and then what will happen the elimination will happen so over here the con concept of the stability of the beta silyl carbocation okay that concept is being utilized over here and you will end up with this product okay so your answer is going to be this where z is equal to ch2 okay this is going to be your answer so this was a question which was uh, which many of you had doubts uh this was another question um sodium hydride and then something else was given and then dibel h was given this was basically the concept of a worski rearrangement and this is the uh, you know lot of articles a lot of actually questions come from total synthesis from the steps of total synthesis so exactly this was the question right sodium hydride was given and then uh, you know br2 we were adding so this is your bromination will happen on both these positions and then your worski rearrangement will happen and this r is equal to ch2oh okay this r is equal to ch2oh both these r is equal to ch2oh because dibel was given in excess okay uh okay third question is missing what is the third question oh third question is this right uh wherein i think this kind of a system isoforon molecule was given okay this is actually a, a very popular industrial solvent okay this and uh, it was a multiple select question that what we will add so that the epoxidation will take place over here okay so for that these are the references one is your uh, one option was the dimeth uh, dimethyl dioxirane okay this this molecule the dioxirane okay this one was given one was this and the other one was na naoh and h2o2 okay over here i have given you uh, the um, so over here you can see the synthesis to an ethanolic solution of isoforon okay which is this starting molecule over here uh, we were adding naoh in h2o2 uh yeah, this one okay so both both these reagents this one and naoh and h2o2 both of them will lead to the epoxidation okay uh then this was the next question uh this was an interesting one um over here actually uh first you are adding uh, some base and you are adding two equivalents of methyl iodide so of course this position is the most acidic because it is because the carbon ion that will be generated it will be stabilized due to conjugation with the ketone and at the same time it will be conjugated with this phenyl ring okay so over here we'll attach two methyl groups then you are adding the oxime that will lead to the generation of imine and then pcl5 is going to do the dehydration okay so this is the reference for this 
and over here this fluoro will not be there okay so your answer actually is going this fluoro is not going to be there in fact a double bond is going to be there okay in in this particular uh, research paper what they have done is that uh, they have taken uh, like there is a fluorine nucleophile present but in our case in the question that was given to us or that was actually given to me uh, by the way i'm very sorry i did not mention thank you venkatesh for providing me these questions okay i would like to give a shout out to venkatesh <coughs> so over here what is going to happen uh, in in our case in the in the question that was given to us in gate 2022 uh, there was no nucleophile present so a carbocation will be generated over here and then elimination will happen and you will get a double bond over here okay so that is going to be the product okay instead of fluoro there will be a double bond over here <clears throat> uh then we have two other questions okay this these two are exactly taken from the research articles so this was a benzene mechanism okay this was the benzene mechanism i think this is the answer to that question okay this is a step um and uh, this is from a uh, us patent basically uh, butyl lithium you are adding so oxygen is there that will kill uh, like chelate with the um, uh, you know that will form a chelate chelated complex and the lithiation will take place over here okay once the lithiation has taken place you are adding the aldehyde so you will end up with this alcohol so the final product is going to be exactly this one that is given over here Oh this was an interesting question okay so over here it was based on topicity so topicity and nmr how topicity and nmr are related okay this is a reference i have just provided you so this was the exact molecule that was given to us where one in one case methyl was below in one case methyl was above okay and they were asking you that what will be the uh, what will be the nmr shifts chemical shifts for these two protons okay so you can see in the major diastereomer uh, you only have one peak for the two hydrogens okay and there is another diastereomer which was there were two diastereomers that were given to us so in one in one of the cases you will get only one uh, like one peak and in the other case you will get two peaks you can see over here n n ch2 a and over here n ch2 b okay so basically the uh, the benzylic protons over here uh, will be different okay in one diastereomer basically in the diastereomer where this methyl is below the plane in that case you will have two peaks and in one case you will have one peak okay so it was somewhere around 3 some some question was there i hope now you can relate to the question <clears throat> uh this was a simple uh, reaction uh, this is your bartoli indole synthesis okay again indole synthesis fischer indole synthesis and all the other indole synthesis are asked a lot so this is the reference article organic letters and you can see over here how do you synthesize this molecule um you can see one bromo two nitrobenzene okay this was one of the options if i am not wrong okay so one of the options was like this i think right so this is how you will uh, end up synthesizing this molecule by adding your grignard like i think this molecule was given to us right so this is the basically starting material that you have to use okay so uh, rest of the questions were pretty easy this was your cori fuchs reaction very very popular asked in your csr exam a lot and it was related to mass spectrometry so ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1 uh then there was a question on number of uh, you know peaks or number of yeah number of peaks in the 13c spectra for this molecule so this is a strained phenanthrene so eight peaks will be there uh then there was a question on edmund degradation okay so there were three uh, like th this was a product number a given and then product number b given so basically you need to look at the side chain okay so this side chain belongs to your uh, phenylalanine and uh, always remember edmund degradation takes place from the n terminal okay and so this molecule over here will be the glycine so we have glycine phenylalanine and then third one was valine so this is the answer okay glycine phenylalanine and valine uh and then there was one more question um which was basically two decalines were given one is trans and cis decaline and they were asking the gauss interactions the net ch change in the uh, gauss interactions so uh, the trans one will have four and the cis one will have five so the net change will be one okay i don't know if if you have to add negative negative or not like whether it should be minus one or plus one i'm not sure but net change is equal to one basically okay then there was a question on dipymethane rearrangement uh for that the answer is going to be this okay dipymethane rearrangement this is the question uh where the aryl group was i think uh sino cyanobenzene okay cyanobenzene was given to us as the aryl group so for that this is the answer <clears throat> okay uh then there was another question on dimide reduction uh, okay so in dimide reduction always remember n2 will be eliminated it's a very very good uh, uh kind of reduction reactions and it is very very uh, like you know uh, very very popular for uh 
reductions where they are very sensitive groups so for example if you want to uh, you know uh, reduce this double bond in in presence of this oxygen oxygen bond then other reagents will fail so over here this dimide is a very very good reducing reagent okay so anyway this was the question that was given to us and generally we know that alkynes are reduced very very quickly followed by terminal and strained uh, double bonds or alkenes and then uh, sorry this is opposite this should be trans ensis okay trans ensis so trans ones are reduced first so over here this one is trans so this is going to be reduced so the final answer is basically this will get reduced this will remain intact because only one equivalent was given to us okay uh then there was another question uh, over here lot of confusion is there so let me clarify uh this is your uh, cycloaddition reaction and will basically give you the corresponding isooxazoline okay basically this molecule it will give you sorry uh, yeah it will give you this molecule where the methyls are going to be in cis because over here also the alkene that is given to us is cis so this is a cycloaddition reaction cycloaddition reactions you know stereochemistry is maintained so both of them are going to be above the plane and then some uh, hydrogen hydrogenation was given right rainy nickel in uh, in basically me methanol and some i think methanolic water or some something was given to us like that so that so basically you can see this is the reference and this will give us this as the product okay so the final answer is going to be this and this is the reference for that particular question all right and uh, then there was another question evans auxiliary i and then followed by meta thesis basically grubbs catalyst was given uh, i am not sure about the position of the double bond that's why um, i have not you know uh, i am not sure about the answer but it is one of them okay either this or this depending upon the position of the double bond so i am not sure about this question so that's why uh, i am not sure whether the double bond is going to come over here or over here but it is going to be one of them right so anyway i hope you found this video helpful if you did please subscribe to the channel uh, it took a lot of effort uh, you know effort to uh, you know get the references and then come up with this video um and uh, if if you admire my work please do consider subscribing to uh, subscribing to the channel yeah all right okay then take care bye bye good night hey guys so i am a verified educator on an academy and along with that i am also available on the unacademy plus platform where i am taking live classes along with other educators so in case you are interested in attending the live classes you can subscribe to the unacademy plus platform using my referral code that is sethi sethi and that will give you 10% discount all right and in case you are not interested in attending the live classes you can watch the free courses that are available on the unacademy for that all you need to do is go to the unacademy website or download the unacademy learning app and search my name over there that is act once you do that you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the unacademy platform all right